All right, this is the iMac 5K late 2015 RAM upgrade. Now I'm doing this with OWC RAM. I purchased this directly from B&H, but if you get it from B&H or any reputable dealer, you should be fine. OWC itself has a lifetime warranty on the RAM as long as you don't peel those stickers off. Now they serve these two different ways from B&H. They have them in individual packs like this, or you can buy them in a group pack. Now I chose to buy the a la carte because the a la carte, for some reason, you can save about $6 or so or $8. So I just did it this way. Now, long story short, I went back and purchased the entire pack because it, the entire pack comes. I, I'm believing they probably are tested together to make sure they're more matching RAMs. I have no idea, but I ended up doing that because in the shopping cart, it only lets you do three at a time. This particular RAM, I, I got all this at the same time. I got my new iMac. Everything is maxed out minus the RAM. I got the two four gig sticks, which are eight gig uh, total for the Apple RAM. And then I just went and paid for the upgrade and i had it all shipped to me the same exact day so from this point having a brand new imac and brand new memory i never understood what was going on but i had a lot of hard crashes with my computer and i thought it had something to do with davinci itself or compatibility with my os long story short one of the ram or more than one of the ram sticks were actually bad so this is the part you take off in the back like i said it's brand new at this point the, there's a little tab that you'll see right on top of the socket port and you can push something in there hard just don't use nothing too sharp you don't want damage your computer or poke anything i used the actual plug from my mac pro and i just pushed that in pretty hard and it'll pop the plate out and then that's exactly how you push it back in as well and then you take these two tabs you spread them apart i'm doing it with one one hand at the moment now you see the two existing sticks they put one in each bay the top two the top bay and the bottom bay you put one in each is usually the best way to do it or try to have matching uh size ram sticks as well they, they recommend that for whatever reason so you try not to mix match it if you can avoid it but if you can't then just just do what you got to do so you just pull these out at first it was kind of hard to reach a lot of people put a blanket or something to lay it down but i did this all standing up and i was holding the camera so it made it a little difficult to pull the ram out it felt like i might have uh i don't know like it was a little hard i didn't want to damage anything but I, you have to squeeze it really tight from the center point at least that's where i did it and popped it out now i do notice that between putting the factory ram in versus the owc the owc seems to be a little fatter towards the end so when i pushed it in it, it seems a little harder pushed into you feel or hear the snap it'll lock in place and you pretty much do one at a time this is the ram sticks up close owc lifetime warranty just don't peel that white sticker off and you should be fine their policy is, seems to be pretty great and if you want to peel this off you just pretty much instead of doing what i'm doing here you just peel it back like that and it'll come right off and then when you put this back on you just want to put all the things back in push everything back opposite and uh, you should be good to go and power back on if this was helpful at all please hit like and subscribe or visit www.howtoandreviews.com till next time